When I fumble a girl, is there a way to unfumble her or am I done? All my real ones know, there's always possible to, to, re, to unfumble a girl. You can, for sure. Easily you can unfumble a girl. But you're going to have to put in some hella work, boy. Yes, it's possible to unfumble a girl, but it depends on the fumble of what you did. If you fumbled a bitch and you cheated on her, yes, you can you can unfumble it. But let me tell you something. To unfumble a bitch that you cheated on, everything that this bitch has been pressing you about, you're going to have to pull a massive fucking Hail Mary. If you cheat on her, she found out. Yeah, you gotta come back 3 1 LeBron Braun 2016 versus the Warriors. And what I mean by that is everything she pressed you out about dates, edible arrangements, you need to get it all within the same month. So she sent you some Instagram posts talking about some, why am I, why her man do it for him? I mean, do it for her. You need to go do that for that immediately. All my, all, I ain't never cheated. But what, what I heard from cheaters is all my cheaters say every time they. Press them, bro. You gotta make sure you gotta make it seem like that cheating shit was the worst mistake of your life. Like, baby, you know, I just wasn't thinking, and I just, I, I you got fake, bro. You better turn to motherfucking Brad Pitt. You better act like a motherfucker. You better turn to Matthew McConaughey when she starts to press you. And you better start saying some real crazy shit. I ain't even mean to, and I'm so sorry, baby. I don't want to lose you. Take me back. I'll never do it again. You need to turn to a victim. Make it sound like that you was you was forced to do this. Like you was hit with an infinity stone and it made you do this. Like the, the reality infinity stone made your ass do this, right? Now look, if you fumbled a girl in a, in a way that you just didn't shoot your shot correctly, it's possible, but it's hard as hell. Most of the times when you fumble a from cheating, you can easily redeem that because are stupid. They actually like getting cheated on. That's the thing. They like getting cheated on. They like getting cheated on, they like getting hurt for some reason. They always go back to niggas that hurt. Yes, this is true. They're addicted to being hurt. Y'all saying what? I can tell y'all never did no shit to no girl. Y'all saying, y'all saying what? And y'all putting question marks. Why do you think a girl's always staying with the that she know that cheats on him? I mean on her. Y'all saying what? And y'all putting question marks. I can tell a lot of y'all don't get what the f I told y'all they be exposing themselves. Why do y'all think women stay with the dude? That's always hurting her. That's just attachment? Yes, like the Spider-Man 3 suit, the black shit. It's attached, it's a part of your soul. You need to rip that motherfucker off. What do you mean? Look at the people that say, what, what, what? You can tell they don't get big. You're not listening, y'all not listening. Now boom, let me get back into it. Now if you fold, if you fumble a because you just didn't DM her when you was supposed to, when you didn't shoot your shot when you were supposed to, it's possible. What you do is you got to flirt at every chance possible. When she posts on her Instagram story one of those little things where you like ask me a question, you got to say some like, when we get married. <laughs> or some like, why you playing? You know, I'm trying. And then when she respond with a cute picture and a nine, you was the one playing, you back in there. If you follow one like that and she respond with a cute picture and she say something like, nah, you was the one playing. Or why you ain't text me in so long? You back in there. Y'all saying corny ad. Do I have to show my boy? Stop playing with me, boy. You know who I am. You saying some? You saying some corny ass? You know what they call me? What do they call me? What are y'all talking about? Do you, who, 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 who here want to go DM for DM? Who want to go for bitch? Who? In GTARP, I'm gonna get in trouble after this stream. Yep, I'm already knowing. <laughs> It's already over for me. I'm cooked. I gotta start spitting some crazy shit out of this stream. Like, you know, baby, you just for God. But anyway, like I'm saying, you better say some cute shit like that when she posted her story. Like her story. And look, I'm gonna put y'all fellas onto some crazy game right here. You wanna implant a seed in the bitch mind? Like a bitch story. And send an emoji like the one that's like, that's blowing out the breath. When she respond, even if she respond talking about some, some cute shit, just like it and don't say nothing else. If you do that to a bitch, you want to implant a seed in that bitch brain. She gonna be like, oh, hold on, I responded. Why you ain't saying nothing back? She gonna think about your ass. I'm telling y'all right now. If you do some shit like that and play on some cool shit, you don't even respond when she responds and just like her message back. When I tell you, when you post something or if you ever do slide back up, you got the number immediately. She gonna already be, cause women. One thing they don't like to do, they don't like to get the game played back on them. So when you play some game like that, you send some shit, and y'all been flirting and shit, and you don't respond with no words, I'm telling you in there like swimwear. I'm telling you. She gonna remember your ass. Women, 
hear 10,000 compliments a day, you want to be the one that you remember. Men, we only get one compliment a year. We remember that until we die. So if you do some cool shit like that, like it and don't say nothing back, and be quiet, you implant a, a seed in this bitch brain. Tell me I'm not cooking. And all she gonna do is remember why he ain't respond when I texted him back. I didn't text, he, I texted him back, he ain't gonna respond to me. So next time you get in there and say something back, she gonna be like, mm. You let her put, build that tree. You building a pipeline. That's the thing that y'all niggas that don't get bitches don't understand what I'm talking about. Everybody like, what is he talking about? He's not cooking. You never built a pipeline. You never once built a pipeline that had a real roster. This is how you do it. I'm putting y'all on game because y'all have never done this. A lot of y'all that say, what, what, what? That don't make no sense. That's why you get cheated on. That's why your girl's butthole is hurting right now. I'm trying to help your bitch ass out. That's why your girl needs a donut to sit on her toilet. Cause somebody giving it to her right now. You if you listen to me and apply some of my game, maybe you wouldn't be getting this shit done to you. I'm trying to help your bitch ass out. So it's sudden being in a Twitch chat. What is I'm talking about? He don't know what he's saying about women. <laughs> your mom cheating on your dad. And you're following right behind him. And the third way to unfumble a bitch, the money method. Y'all like, what the fuck that mean? The money method is the motion man method. I already told y'all about this. A lot of bitches that you think you fumbled, they just didn't want to get with you because you didn't seem unattainable to them. You didn't seem like you had something that they want access to that they know they can't. But when you start getting money, a better job, famous, no matter what it is, when she see that, you're a different person. You didn't went from a cool little four, five out of 10, to an eight or nine out of 10, just from what you got. And you bet not ever, 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 ever wife that bitch. And don't nut in that bitch either. Don't do one or two. Especially when you when you post your Instagram story some cool shit, like everybody know that you had a regular little car or something. One day you posted your story, you just bought a scat pack, a Hellcat, GT350, AMG, something crazy. Like, bro, I've been putting in hella work, y'all. Look what I got, man, I'm feeling good. Guess who's gonna be the first person to like that story? That bitch that ignored you? What you do? How you get money? I ain't know you. All right, when, when was the first time you ever sneaked out? The One of the times I ever got, I snuck out, I got caught. It's a quick little story time I can give y'all. Kalo, appreciate the, the gift, man. Boom. Hold on, let me get him out of here. He said, unk talk, slow as hell. You been following 10 minutes, your first tech? Yeah, this your first time out too. Enjoy that little 10 minute, brother. But <clears throat> the first time I ever snuck out, it was 2019 and I pulled off a hell of a play. I did this, I did this multiple fucking times. The first time I snuck out, look, here's, if you, 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 when you live with your parents, right? Everybody know if your parents got ring, the vent, any of those things. When you open up a door, they get a notification. And then most of this, sometimes it be front door open. So I learned a trick. We had, I went to the box downstairs and I learned how to turn off the notifications. The first couple of times I snuck out, it was on uh, school nights. Me and my my uh, girlfriend at the time, ex, whatever we was, right? I would text her. Oh, no, we would fall asleep. No, she would fall asleep around like 9, 10 o'clock. And she would say, call me around 3, 3 a.m. whenever you want to come over and get some butt. So I said, okay. So I would call her around 3, 4 a.m. I would go and I would hit the jump. Beep, beep. So, right? I hit the shit. My, my brother, my mom, and my dad, they went to go see the movies. I don't know what movie they seen. It was 2019, though. So I drove, boom, and I went and got some butt. And I timed it correctly, right? When I got back to the foot my fucking neighborhood, my mom called me and said, "Why is my fucking front door unlocked? Where the, where the fuck are you at?" There's a wall right, right next to my house, so I said to her, "I was just like, but I, I went to wall wall right quick. I just wanted to get me something to drink. Like it's not that big of a deal." And then my mom was cool about it. That was the one time I got caught, but most of the other times I've never gotten caught. But the thing that used to scare the fuck out of me was my 350Z was loud as hell. Like when I would turn my 350Z on like a cold start and I had a single uh, exit exhaust and test pipes, it just, mm, I be like, oh, God damn, I'm about to get caught. But I used to sneak out pretty often. Three, four o'clock at, at the night on a school night, I call her. You know what I need to do. I know what I need. I drive over there, do my thing, 
Come on. Have you ever been to a party where the police was called? How did that end out? Okay. One time, I was 18 years old. I went to um Ocean City. I went to Ocean City for uh, senior week. And I never been to a party where police was called. I've been to a party where a switch got pulled out. And I've been to Ocean City where we was wild and I was 18 year old kids. And I remember uh, it was a whole bunch of people in this parking garage. And we went in that bitch. And I remember it was a police officer. This is this, this is the same day I got pulled over for going 120, even though he didn't clock me. How ugly she is oh way through he didn't clock me, but I got pulled over because I was trying to crack a bit. I was trying to show off, and she wanted me to go fast. And this is the same time we was um, it was a it was a police officer on the on the one of the hor the horses. I remember people came up to her. I mean, came up to the to the to the horse when we was in the parking garage, started slapping that bitch on the ass. And the police officer turned around and pulled out like his taser and his light and started flashing at people's faces. So we all started running out the parking garage and everybody started running. That shit was hilarious. So I ain't never been to nowhere where uh, police was called. But I definitely been somewhere where, bruh, yes, it was a horse. They started slapping the horse on the ass and trying to <laughs> grab the horse. And it was in the parking garage at Ocean City. And we all started running out that bitch and running away. But did he give you a ticket? Nah. Uh, he didn't give me a ticket. He didn't clock me. It was a stick. I don't have to, what the fuck do I have to lie about be going 100, 120, and, okay, I don't give a fuck. What's your opinion on orgies? Would you join one if you got paid? Let me see, let me get his, he joined today, didn't he? He joined yesterday. Let's go and give him a day. Of all the stories you've been with, what was the craziest or like top three craziest things ever done to you by them? Um, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. The first one, I've been hit multiple times. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I've been punched. Kit, damn, they're almost stabbed. If y'all talking about top three craziest things of all time, I feel like hitting is already crazy. It's pretty normal nowadays because I'm a man, so you gotta kind of just accept it. Damn, that just sounded depressing as hell. I didn't even mean it like that, but it did sound depressing as hell. I feel like getting hit is crazy. I mean, I've had a bitch like, I thought I was about to get hit by her car, but she was just speeding past me. One time I had a bitch put on her, her spam Instagram story, she was gonna pay somebody to whoop my ass. I remember one time she posted on her Instagram spam like, she was trying to get me beat up. Um, other than that, I haven't really had too much crazy shit happen. Like nobody ever like tried to really like kill me or nothing. Funniest man on Twitch for real. Big bro got me in tears every day. Appreciate you. of fact, big bro got me bricked up at the side of them lips. Can you get real close to the camera with those that like to kiss them through the screen? All right, bye. Best Christmas movie? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Polar Express. I don't think there's a better song, a better, 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 better Christmas movie than Polar Express. When can we get pedicures together then suck each other's? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go Polar Express. Home Alone is ass. Who the fuck watches Home Alone? I never thought that movie was fire. I always thought that shit was stupid. I never watched Home Alone. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go Polar Express. The Grinch is fire too. The one with Jim Carrey, that's fire too. Friday after next, that's three. I'm gonna go three. I want to watch the Polar Express this year. Every year I always want to watch the Polar Express with a girl, but I never, it never works for me. With, with, with pajamas on too. Like matching pajamas and shit, and like a Christmas tree, but it never works. I always end up by myself, and we always arguing or something. Committed any crimes? If so, what crime? He's definitely CIA, FBI, and all that. I'd be sad as hell when I don't get to do that shit. I we want to do. I'd be thinking I'm just a, I'm just a, a fucking a mean ass, you know, person. No, bro. When did you gain consciousness, Banks? When I was three years old, I woke up one night and I remember the previous night I started getting flashes in my memory and shit. And the, the, the night before, I remember we was watching Chucky and I went downstairs and I co went up to my mom and I said, mom. Did you tell them that you sucked me off in high school? I went up to my mom and I said, mom, this is the first day of my life. She told me to get the fuck out of her face. Um, but I thought that was the first day of my life for really, for real. Um, I finished this though. If you had life in prison with no parole, are you cracking down the inmate? Let me guess, you joined two days ago? How long they give him? Oh, they only gave you a 10 minute. No, I got you. Take a week, man. I don't even know you like that for you be asking me questions like that. I ain't even donate on Twitch, but I had to just to let you know that yo knows fat as hell, you dumb monkey boy. Now, what if I just started crying right now and jumped out this window? Could you just call me a dumb monkey boy? How would you feel? Timothy Bankington Jr., I am your lost son and I'm tired of you ignoring my calls. My mother says you used to beat her all the time. She also says you used to let the homies crack. Is this true, father? Sleepy right, face. He, he tweaking. He's actually tweaking. Have you watched the Saw movies? Yeah, there's a reason why I don't watch them as an adult. My parents actually scarred me on accident, bruh. When we was kids, 
my parents, they used to watch scary movies. And we, as kids, we want to watch what our parents is watching. So we used to watch the scary movies with them, right? My parents, we used to watch the, we used to watch the scary movies with them. I Mind you, I'm like nine years old. When that motherfucker used to put the pig face on and come out of nowhere and grab motherfuckers, boy, my mom used to be able to like, look at me and tell me, you want to go upstairs and go to sleep while we watch the movie? I'd be like, no, I'm standing right here. You going up that motherfucker, stand motherfucker, go grab me? Go put me on with the motherfucker shit that ripped my shit open like this, like a bag of potato chips? Fuck no. Motherfucker. <laughs> realization. And then, I ain't never had that. I don't know what the fuck he talking about. I ain't never been derealized, motherfucker. What the fuck is he talking about? I, I'm, I'm on earth, motherfucker. I can touch myself. Better pluck yourself or pinch yourself, stupid motherfucker. Go to a therapist, stupid nigga. Anyways, watch Saturday motherfucker control. putting the shit on where if you don't hurry but put the key in the back of your shit, your shit about to get blown open with the age 12 motherfucker. The fuck wrong with you, boy? I was scared as hell I wasn't being a good kid. I seen him like the motherfucking Grinch. Motherfuckers gonna come and get me as a little ass kid and put me in one of them goddamn suits. My old motherfucker chest get ripped out. Man, that's why I don't watch them movies. Them movies scarred the shit out of me, bro. I'm shit scary as hell. You don't put the key in the shit and you, you don't dig your hand in disease infested fucking needles. Take it out, put the key in the back of your shit. Your shit about to get blown wide the fuck open. Oh no. Oh no. Then the little, the little fucking, little motherfucking, uh, little motherfucking clown. Whatever the jack jigs are. The little bike he used to ride and shit. I just like, no, bruh. I used to be scared to say all that movie. I'm still scared to say what's all, bro. Another movie I'm scared of is Evil Dead. It was this trailer back in 2013 where, this, where that scary bitch was underneath the stairs like, hing, 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 and she was singing songs and shit, and blood started raining down. I don't even watch that as a grown-ass man because I'm going to be sitting there with a 12-gauge pointed at my TV. As soon as I hear something behind me, bah! Don't even come behind me and touch me. Don't come behind me and touch me. I'm gonna blow your kneecap smooth off. I don't play with certain movies, bro. I don't play with Exorcism movies. I don't play with Insidious. I don't play with none of those movies. I want to go see one of the movies one time. I was in that motherfucker like this the whole time. I don't know about a horror movie. I don't watch horror movies. I don't play like that. I like to feel good after my movies. I don't want to be sitting there laying on my motherfucking bed and I'm seeing my broom in the corner looking. When I was a kid, I used to be, bro, I used to be in the shower as a kid. I used to wash my hair. As soon as the soap used to touch my face, I used to be throwing eight-piece combos because I didn't want motherfucker to pop in my face when I open my eyes. I still do that as an adult. I start throwing elbows and shit. I be in the shower like this, ducking and moving when I'm washing the shampoo. Nah, you ain't going to get my motherfucking ass. You're going to get your ass. You're going to get your whole wig split in this bitch. You ain't going to play with me like that, motherfucker. I promise you. And I'm... I'm <laughs> I'm one of the motherfuckers, I gotta talk to myself to unscare myself. So when I hear some crazy shit at night and I just got done watching a scary movie, I instantly, I'm the type of nigga, I'm the type of nigga, bro, when I hear some crazy shit, I gotta unscare myself. So when I'm going to go turn the lights on, I be like, you better get your ass out this house, knowing I'm about to get my whole neck turned around. I be saying shit like that. When I get this light, I'm about to beat your motherfucking ass. No, as soon as I see this motherfucker, I'm probably just gonna have a heart attack. Motherfucker, break my shit. I don't even watch those. I don't even watch Final Destination movies. Any movie where some natural, supernatural shit like that happen? Oh, nah. And it seems like every time I'm about to get on a flight, I start hearing shit about plane crashes and shit. That should be making me too scared, man. Like, there's just certain movies I don't play with. I like to leave my movies from like, damn, that was a good ass movie. I, I felt so good. I don't want to leave the movies. I'm looking around making sure a fucking Boeing 707 engine ain't flying towards my bitch ass because I didn't avoid a death before. Come on, man. I watched Final Destination 2, motherfucker. Motherfucker slipped in the shower. Boy, when I tell you I was getting out the shower tiptoeing like this for about a week, it's just certain shit. I get on, I get on the roller coaster. I make the motherfucker come check my, my motherfucking seatbelt three times. I'm like, nah, man, this motherfucker, hold on. Motherfucker lifting up a little bit. Nah, come back over here. Go get a screwdriver or something. Tighten this motherfucker down. My shit feeling a little. I remember one time, I swear to God, it's a true story. I have a fucking story for everything. I remember one time, I got on the fucking roller coaster, right? I was on the roller coaster with my brother, right? Oh, was I with a bitch? I can't remember who I was with. I think I was with my brother. I got on the roller coaster. I think I was at Islands of Adventure with my brother. Somebody was too fat to get on. And it was one of the ones like this. The motherfucker was too fat to be on it. It was it was a bitch, a woman, two, a BBW. She was too big, so they had to get her off. But when they got her off, they had to release all of them instead of just one. So I remember I put mine back down, but that motherfucker felt a little loose. When I tell you, I was on that, and I, I'm a, I was about to say I'm a screamer. Pause, that shit's about to come out crazy. I like to enjoy myself on roller coasters. I like to play around. I be letting my lip flap in the wind like this. I be like, I be screaming and shit. I be playing around laughing and shit. When I tell y'all, I was on my roller coaster, roller coaster like this the whole time. My face was straight as hell. Cause I didn't know if I was about to fall the fuck out. I was holding that bitch like this, bro. When I tell you I was so strong, bro. I was on a roller coaster like this. I looked at my brother, he's sitting there laughing and shit. I'm like this. <laughs> 
Bro, I thought the motherfucker, I was scared as hell. I thought the motherfucker was about to let me fly the fuck out, cuz. I was like, oh, nah, bro. The best way to beat uh, the win the street fight, I'm gonna get y'all some game. Most street fights, if you don't get knocked out, last about 30 seconds before it get broken up. So you, what you wanna do is you wanna get the most hits in and you wanna take the least amount of damage. So what I, what I have asked for you is this. Excuse me. You wanna stick and move, right? So if you're in a street fight and you just wanna win it and you don't wanna get knocked out or hit with a switch, if you in a small place like a bar, more than likely you don't wanna fight in a small enclosed place like that because you can't see behind you Left, right, unless you got good peripheral, you might back into something, you might trip, somebody might use something to hit you. But if you if you take it outside, you can stick and move. Stick and move. Us, 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 three piece. Back up. You never wanna you don't be one of those people that's trying to rush and you only throw haymakers. Throw real punches, jabs, throw jabs, jabs. And here's something that that really Fucks up a lot of people in street fights. Throw body shots. Nobody in street fights is trained to actually take a body shot. Unless you find somebody that got cauliflower ears, you might as well put yourself on the plate. Flip yourself over, put a little season on yourself because you're cooked. But if you throw a good body shot, most people who's not trained gonna instantly drop their hands. You never got hit in the, in the stomach. And if you come back up with that overhand, you're gonna knock their ass out. Simple body shot. It don't even have to be a powerful body shot. You can go with the with the liver, the liver check hook. You can come down with a smooth jab. Ush. Now right when they drop them hands, ah, knock they bitch ass out. In GTRP. What age would you become a father? No later than 26. I don't want to be damn near 67 years old taking my kids to elementary school. So no later than that. Be honest with y'all. I ain't gonna lie. He ain't said bro carrying your TikTok. Appreciate that, bro. He said Tiana Trump is overrated. You might be. I ain't even gonna say nothing. He said she not. He said she not even in my top seventy-five. Who the hell has 75 fucking, oh wow, brother, you might have something wrong with you psychologically, I'm not gonna lie. When did you, why did you start streaming and how has it changed your life? Y'all ready for that reel? Let me go ahead and type in the chat myself actually, hold on before somebody else does it. I already typed it first, bitch. Nobody else can type it. <laughs> I typed it first, bitch. I started streaming because I moved to LA for acting. I've said this multiple times, right? And I moved to LA for acting. I've done YouTube before. I've never really tried a streaming route, but I've done YouTube for like a long time. And honestly, bro, I just, I said, even if the acting don't work, I want to do something entertainment. And the reason why I had, hadn't did YouTube while I was trying to pursue acting was because when you have an acting career, certain things can make certain casting directors, agencies not take you serious. And YouTube and streaming can be one of them. But I said to myself, like, and I was getting big auditions. I've talked about this before. I've auditioned for Apple TV shows, Netflix, uh, commercials. And I said to myself, you know, this is your one life. You got to do something that you really enjoy. And YouTube and, and streaming and being just an entertainment personality was always something I was interested in anyway. So I decided to get back onto YouTube while, you know, I still want to pursue my acting. I, I didn't really expect it to take off as crazy as it did. Um, I always just, I'm going to be honest with y'all. It's not no ego shit, but I know a lot of y'all feel the same way and it could really be true for y'all. I always just felt like, bro, I was like the chosen one, bro, like in my family. Or like one of the chosen ones of where I come from. Like I always just felt like I was destined for bigger. Like I just felt like, I just always had this manifestation in my head like, bro, like you really do have something special. I remember when I graduated, my uh, Cisco teacher at the time, I'm not going to, you know, say her name or nothing, but I remember she came up to me and and I wasn't crying during graduation or nothing. Like, I was like, fine, I was ready to get the fuck. I was happy as hell. She came up to me, she touched me on my chest, and normally we had a very good relationship, but she got serious and she said, you have something special, please don't lose it. And right then and there, I damn near teared up. I ain't gonna lie. Even though I was ready to get the fuck out that school. So I remember, and I, and I honestly always felt like, bro, like, I felt like I was always supposed to be the one that, you know, made it out or something. You know, I've always had high expectations of me as a kid. Like, my mom, like, my parents used to tell me, like, you know, we know you're going to be the one that, you know, make the family, you know, 
Rich, I know you, we know you're gonna take care of us. And mind you, ha imagine having that in your head as a young kid, teenager. You like, damn, I really have to. Um, you have that expectation on you know you gotta meet it. So, um, yeah, bro. I just, I don't know. I, I knew, I, I knew I could just make it. Why does that shit sound like a fucking bomb is about to blow the fuck up? But um, yeah, man. I just knew. I don't know. I just knew I could just do something. I, I didn't know what it was gonna be, but I told myself you're gonna do something. And I just always felt like I had to chose. I just manifested a lot, bro. I just kept saying like you gonna you gonna do something. I just kept telling people I'm gonna do something, and then yeah. And that's why I started streaming. I mean, how has it changed my life? It's changed my life for the better. You know, I always try to stay stay grateful. Um, I always say thank y'all to y'all every stream. I always say the accolades that y'all made possible for me. Um, that's why I just I always try to stay humble and grateful and say you know thank you because you know I wouldn't be nowhere without the people that watch me. You know what I'm saying I wouldn't be nowhere without the people that follow me on TikTok. I wouldn't be nobody with the people that tune in for the streams. I wouldn't be for nobody that donates. I wouldn't be nowhere with you know without subs, things of that nature. So that's why I always try to say thank you. Um, it's changed my life for the better. You know, um, all around. Mentally, financially, just all this other stuff. Like being able to be yourself, entertain people just by being yourself. And people really fuck with you, people that you don't know all around the country and you know, different countries and shit. And it's changed my life for the better. I'm not gonna lie. Right? You know, I be just like any other profession or whatever you wanna call it, dream, job, whatever you wanna call it. I still be tired as hell, but it is really more fulfilling than anything I've ever done. So, um, I've been on a straight grind. I don't think I think I've only missed like three days in the last two weeks of streaming. I've been very consistent. Um, yeah, so I know I'm gonna have to stay on this grind and make this shit happen that I really want to. Um, my plan is to grind like this for at least a year. Well, grind forever, but to stay on the same path I'm on for at least a year. Hard. Just keep going hard. You tired, you tired, cuz. You know, you sleepy, you sleepy. You better do it, sleepy. You better do it, tired. So, change my life for the better. I'm not gonna lie. But, yeah, that's how I changed my life. I ain't gonna lie.